As a creator, one thing on the channel that you've seen me use pretty much in every single video, but I haven't found the perfect solution for it, hence I haven't made a video. But until now, I haven't actually felt comfortable saying this is the one. So what are we talking about? We're talking about this. Looking for a cheap way to license your windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. But before we reach this chair, I need to tell you my story to show you like where and why I have ended up with this one. So before I reached that chair over there, I, I was actually using this chair that I'm sitting on. I have made a video on the channel about this one before. This is the under seat. It's, it's very, very comfortable, but it's not perfect. And especially because my editor, you know, works in here. He uses this chair. I needed something different that's in there. The armrests go a bit wider out and I don't have that much space in there. And the seat, it's like a insulation for your back and bottom. So if it's the summer and it's like 28, 30 degrees in here, that's Celsius, it's very, very warm. And also, if I show you the back of the seat in here, you can see that it's got this pillow. And if we take this pillow away, as you can see, the back angle here goes like deep in, in the back, which is exactly the opposite than what you would want in a chair. This little pillow that they've put extra is like the saver of the seat. But then at the same time, why would you just not make the seat already comfortable? Why do you have to produce the seat and then put a cushion there to actually make the seat like usable. It's got a little pillow that goes on the back there as well. That's just completely useless to me. If you put that in the back, it makes your head go down like that. I can't figure out a way how to make this pillow comfortable. It's big and kind of insulation. I want something a bit more cooler. This wasn't a good option. And while my editor was sitting on this one, what was I using? I was using this. This is basically a little bar stool from Ikea. So the bottom goes out a little bit so you can move around with it just like that. I got insane back problems after sitting on this because sitting on this for like, I don't know, four, five, sometimes eight hours on a day is not ideal. And you might be saying, why didn't you use your, you know, stand up desk? Actually, as much as I love them, the adjustment of the desk, right now we're in such a small room that I'm not able to lift the chair or the, the table up in there because then that will knock some of the other things out of the way for me. I don't know if this was because of this chair, but my back absolutely went and I felt like, oh my goodness. I was mowing the lawn, putting the petrol cap back on. S something happened for my back. I just felt like this, like electricity, like go through the back. And then I was just in absolute agony, the lower back. I couldn't stand up, I couldn't lie down. I was just in agony. I laid down on the grass, but then I couldn't get up. I was laughing and in pain at the same time because I thought, oh my goodness, this is so painful. And then for like about a week, I was in absolute agony. I couldn't turn around on bed, which made me really push into it. Look, I can't sit on this chair and I, I have to find some kind of solution. So then whatever else I had in the house, I found just like a little foldable chair, you know, garden chair or whatever. And I put a pillow on it. It was a little bit better, but still absolutely horrendous. Then I thought, sack this. I went on Amazon and bought an ergonomic chair. And the chair I bought is this one over here. So this is by a company called Beta. Beta? By the looks of it, as you can see, it looks like a pretty ergonomic chair. You've got big lumbar support. You've got like the mesh, as you can see, it kind of shines through. And also I paid extra to get this, like a feet support that goes up and then you can rest your feet down there just like that. But it's got one big problem. It's the biggest waste of money I have ever, ever spent on a chair. It's such a flimsy thing. And it's not comfortable to sit like that at all. And this thing is just constantly in the way on the bottom there. And this lumbar support in the back, at first you sit on it, you're like, oh, this is, 
this is comfortable but then after a while the sides actually start to hurt my back whatever material this is or the way it kind of starts pushing in on the sides just from the sides a little bit i don't know if it's a sign of a bad chair or that I'm getting fat, but this chair just does not feel comfortable for me. The headrest is quite good actually because it just goes there, but nothing is adjustable. The headrest like doesn't, well it does. Even the material that you set on here, you don't feel comfortable on it. It kind of pushes on your backside and in the end, as you can see, this is all solid from the back there. There's no like reclining function available. And for the money, what I paid for this. Oh, it just makes me sick thinking that, I don't know, maybe for you this is like normal price for a chair, but this was very expensive and not comfortable at all. And because of this, I wanted something else, but believe it or not, the one that I ended up with was a chair that I've been looking at for a long, long time. So let's talk about the chair that I ended up with then. So this here is from a company called FlexiSpot, which I've actually used quite a few things before. And I found this chair actually when we were working on like the table, they sent me a table. They've sent two tables actually. And when we uh, upgraded to this table, so this is the sit stand desk and the top. Uh, I was actually looking for their chairs as well. And I was like, ooh. I wonder if this is any good. Now, one of the things about this chair is, is it looks to me like minimal. It looks really, really nice. You can see them online. There's a few different colors of it. There's black, uh, gray, and then light blue, which I have over here. But actually this is not light blue. It's got a mix of colors. I'll show you B-roll closer up, which is actually, it's got like a blue lines, but then um, gray or silver back on it. Let me talk you through this and why I think this is so so nice so basically it's got a white frame not a black frame but white frame which just fits into my style here quite well you can see that the the background color and then this matches very well but believe me the most important thing is not this matching but actually working for me for the back here you've got first of all the ventilation so there's some kind of like a rubbery back white on this side and then on this side there's kind of like a mesh in front of that um, and the white and the, the mesh they don't touch and this is really really um, nice for your back it supports the back very well the way this bottom part comes out here the lumbar support is very very good really nice place in uh, for me you've got a headrest adjustable this is soft and it's quite small as you can see I can easily turn around it and it can do a full circle, which I wasn't able to do before. Now, when I'm sitting down, this is just like, oh, I'm like in my place because it reclines and it's always like in a very comfortable position, especially because my monitors are slightly higher as well. Sometimes when you're often looking up like that, I get like really tense on the top there, but then here I can just like kind of lay back look at it like that super super comfortable you can lock it if you want on one side here and now it doesn't go back right then on the other side the chair comes up and then the bottom bit if i it moves forwards and backwards with the armrests okay and then you've got these side armrests it's a little bit soft on the top but these go sideways and then up and down unfortunately they don't go like in and out on there but this is like plenty of for me to have really really nice support flexi spot doesn't know that i'm uh, well they actually know that i'm making the video because I, I told them and you know they're not sponsoring the video but they they don't know what the heck i'm talking about i just said can i make this video and they were like yeah sure i hope they don't stop producing this i can see this is on a deal right now i on the flexi spot uk but flexi spot us i'm not sure why this isn't there the model is bs 11 pro this is slightly on the expensive side of a chair but you are sitting on this chair every single day i don't have a single thing that i'm not happy about this chair it's literally 10 out of 10 chair for me the looks the comfort the ventilation links for this is in the description below but most importantly i love to hear what chair are you using right now and are you happy with your chair because this is something that nobody talks about i want to know what you're using let me know in the comment section below thanks guys for watching by the way if you want to click on that description below there's lots of very interesting and useful things for you first of all 
the PC build guides and best bang for buck greater PC guides, as well as the links for this if you want to check it out. Okay. Thank you.